Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna show you that one that you are seeing over my head. It's smoke detector. It's a smoke detector that I just installed and wired in the house. I thought that it will be worth to share this video with the, you guys, especially for those who are thinking of upgrading their smoke detectors installation and still don't know how to wire them and how to install them, then this video will help you a lot in order to understand and of course uh, be informative uh, on how you are going to do and upgrade it by yourself. The original uh, smoke detectors that were installed in the house were just a standalone and uh, they were just operated by the battery so I thought that it's time for me to upgrade them and wire them so that the power source will com come directly from the uh, electrical panel and that's what I did and this is me now, I, I'm sharing it with you guys and I hope you will stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more information in the future. So thank you and welcome for another episode and another video that will help you do your thing. This is a super easy installation, however if you guys don't have any knowledge in dealing with electrical components and electrical installations then I would prefer hiring someone who is professional and uh, have a better understanding on how electricity works. This is for your own good, for your own safety, as well as for your house too, so you better watch out. And in order to complete the task, these are the following tools that you will be needing. Multi-tester and a digital tester, just in case the digital tester fails then you have to make sure and use the multi-tester in order to check if there's still a current flowing into the wire. Couple of pliers, wire stripper, electrical box, the two types of wires that you will be using 14.2 and 14.3, the smoke detector itself, the electrical nodes, connectors, electrical tape, pot light, and of course the wire staples. Fourteen number three, and this is gauge fourteen number two of fifteen amperes. Means to say that these two wires, you can't use them if the rating of your circuit breaker is already more than fifteen. Like let's say for example twenty amperes, then then you can't use these two wires. Otherwise, it will be burnt. This wire will be used to interconnect your smoke detectors and supply it with the, the power that is coming from this. This is directly connected to your circuit breaker and this will be the one to supply this wire in order to supply also the smoke detectors. So I consider this as a node 1, node 2 and node 3. This is the actual uh, replica of the three smoke detectors that I have connected. And this will be your power source that you will be connecting to the, to your uh, circuit breaker. And that will be connected to this wire that will power up the three smoke detectors. And I'm going to show you how you are going to wire it. And to wire that up, this will be the actual wiring that you will be doing. So uh, this is the interconnect wherein you will not be using this for now because what you will do is to interconnect this power source and uh, power source to this wire. So this is how you are going to wire this thing. Uh, when it comes to the power source, this interconnect wire, you will not be using this so you're gonna have to cut this off. This, as I've told you, will just interconnect the, the smoke detectors. So you'll not be needing this in order to connect this first wire, first node, to the power source. This power source, this black coding here, this black black will be wired together. And that will 
activate the the entire wire that is connected to the smoke detector so you will be connecting this make sure you do the proper uh, connect connection and after you're twisting and uh, making sure that the connection is uh, already firm and you're gonna have to wrap this with this uh, uh, electrical uh, nuts that will cover the active and live wire make sure after wrapping it up you're gonna have to wrap this for the second time with an electrical tape it is always uh, good to to have a safe uh, connection node connection so we're gonna have to make sure that is being done so for the white to the white so just interconnect this it is already color coded so it will be easy and it is really uh, super easy to remember and wrap it with this and for the ground make sure that this ground is also uh, connected with each other and at the same time you will be connecting it to the electrical box this so this you are going to connect with each other too and at the same time, you will be connecting it to the electrical box. So, just want to make sure that is firmly connected and wrapped with the electrical tape afterwards, which I'm going to show you. And this one should be interconnected to and push it all the way to the electrical box this one after wrapping with electrical tape you're gonna have to push that inside the electrical box and the same thing with this so you have to make sure that is safely uh, covered that there's no uh, live wire that is uh, that is exposed so we are now uh, in node 2 this will be where your first uh, or your second uh, smoke detector will be connected and as you can see they're already matching with four wires and all you have to do is to interconnect the color coded wirings so uh, we'll do first the red which is the interconnect for the smoke detector it means to say that this maintains the connection of the smoke detectors with each other so the purpose of this is that when the one smoke detector went off then the other uh, will also go off same thing that you will do in the node uh, number two wherein you will be connecting your uh, uh, smoke detector as you can see they're already uh, wired coded black for the black white for the white and uh, uh, this red for the red which uh, its purpose is to interconnect all the smoke detectors that you have installed in the house this is now the actual installations that I have done in the house let's go with it
right so this is the type of uh, the smoke detector that I will be installing and uh, it says there that it is designated for 120 volt so actually I have 115 so that will be okay and uh, there are three wires there that has been uh, shown on the picture and it has black Okay, right, so this is the connector of the smoke detector and you will connect this to the three wires that I've told you earlier. Uh, this red is the interconnect among the smoke detectors that you have in the house. This is for the hot, the black one and this is for the neutral. So we will connect this now to the, to the wire. I will show you afterwards. Alright guys, so this is now the outcome of my installation. This is the connector and I interconnected them white to white, red to red, and black to black. So it is simple and I just uh, put some uh, electrical tape here just to make sure uh, there's no leakage of any current there and it will not uh, create some uh, heat up. Right now it's already installed but it has no power yet because I haven't removed this battery and at the same time I haven't connected yet to the circuit so it's still uh, not powered right now. I'll just hang it over there until the inspection uh, has been committed. And it's the time now to power up the uh, smoke detector, supply it uh, with the current and we will connect it to the circuit breaker and this is what I'm doing here right now uh, I just wanna clarify that you have to connect or you have a better understanding in order to to operate or install the sub panel and of course understand uh, what are the components that you should be familiarized with it in order for you to have a better understanding on how to connect the two wires or the three wires that involves in powering up your uh, electrical components. So I have said before, as I have said, uh, there are three wires that you need to, to learn. There is the white, which is the neutral. Uh, there is the um, ground and that should be connected to the ground bar, uh, as well as the neutral to the neutral bar and of course the hot which will be connected uh, uh, in the circuit breaker and that is considered as the live one. It is now powered up. It's been uh, inspected and passed the inspection and I believe it's time for me to, to test the smoke detector. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you found the video uh, helpful for your DIY and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thanks.